And a minority in Parliament has criticised the Minister for Trade and Industry, Katie Hammond, over government's decision to lease the Commanda Sugar Factory to an Indian-based firm, West Africa Agro Limited, for a renewable term of 15 to 20 years. The minister states that this initiative aims to revive the company's operations to meet domestic demand. In an interaction with City News, the first deputy minority whip, Ahmed Ibrahim, says Katie Hammond's recent actions justify his, his late appointment as minister in the Kufado government. The Commander Sugar Factory Company Limited, also known as the Commander Sugar Factory, was established in 1964 but halted operations for an extended period. In 2016, the previous NDC government secured a $35 million loan from the Indian Export Imports Bank and made an additional $24 million investment to revamp the factory's operations. The factory is currently undergoing a test run in preparation for full production. During a recent tour, Minister of Trade and Industry Katie Hammond announced that the government is prepared to lease the factory to West Africa Agro Limited for up to 20 years with renewal options. This decision has been criticized by the first deputy minority whip in parliament, Ahmed Ibrahim, in an interview with Channel One News. If you know that you are doing one district, one factory, one district, one factory, those few factories for the state you are selling them, does it, it defeat, defeat the slogan of one district, one factory? So what, which factory are you giving to commander, the people of commander? You are, what they have, you are taking it to give it to the private investor. So what are you giving to them? And our commander Ankash Ghana, he should leave it. By me, I'm convinced why he was allowed to spend seven years without being a minister. Now he has justified Nanadu, that Nanadu was right. Additionally, Ahmed Ibrahim described the petition by the majority leader to the speaker to reconvene the House barely 24 hours after an indefinite adjournment as unwarranted. Even though we are the minority caucus, but we're always on the majority when we came to the floor. To the point that we were even cautioning them that they should abandon the campaign and come to parliament and come and do the work. They didn't listen to that. Then when we are about to adjourn, that we've done what we are supposed to do, per our estimation, let's adjourn so that we also go and prosecute our campaign. You are saying, no, we should remain here. We did that same thing and passed some obnoxious laws that are difficult to implement. So the matters that he is raising, are matters that the speaker has referred to committees and said that we have done what we are supposed to do. I'm adjourning the House in day. As for this and this and this, because the public has too much interest in them, go on recess and the committees will go and consult the public and report back to the House when we reconvene. So what wrong has the speaker done? The minority is urging the majority caucus to avail themselves in their numbers for business to take place once the speaker Alban Bagbin reconvenes Parliament as a result of their petition. Reporting for Channel One News from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain.